Jerome Velasca, 18 years old, matricide. We're gonna have so much fun together. <laughs> <laughs> What is up guys, my name is Boba Talks and welcome back to a brand new video on Gotham Season 4. Now I'm sure you're aware, you know, entirely what this video is, probably just through the title. Um, and if, if any of you aren't aware, it is about that whole Jerome not being the Joker drama again. Now this all stems from an interview that Gotham Hub tweeted out, which a uh, discussing film conducted with David Mazous. Now I will probably be using a couple of clips from this interview just for context of Obviously for this video so full link to the interview will be in the description below to the discussing films interview with David Mazous but anyway there's plenty of other videos that could be made from this interview but the thing we're talking about today is the whole drama because when this went on on Twitter uh, there was a whole bunch of drama and even Cameron Monaghan got involved uh, himself in tweeting about it but before I go on with this video guys as always uh, please hit that like button if you do end up enjoying it and if you're new to this channel why not subscribe for more content just like this. Now the most important part of this interview and as I've already said the part we're talking about in this video is when David Mazous was asked if he thinks that Jerome is personally the Joker and this is what David had to say. And that actually leads me into my next question. Now Jerome has been heavily teased as the inspiration for the Joker or possibly even the man himself. Now who do you personally think he is? He's not the Joker. That's all I'll say. He definitely is the inspiration for the Joker, um, and the way that um, that uh, the the Joker comes into the show is, in my opinion, one of the most brilliant things that Gotham's ever done. So obviously I'm going to talk about this and what exactly I think it means, and I'm sure all of you think, what the hell is going on, I'm gonna go mad, blah blah blah. I do initially understand where you're coming from, but I think there's more to it than meets the eye. Uh, if there isn't, then fair enough, I would, I'm would i going to be angry as well. But keep watching to the part of the video where I've got a couple of theories as to what is really going on here. So before I go on to talk about exactly what David said right there, the whole backstory behind this is that Gotham Hub, a very popular Gotham uh, Twitter page, um, I've worked with them in the past on giveaways and just, you know, I've referenced them millions of times before. Um, they tweeted out in advance to this interview uh, the actual confirmation of what David Mazou said which was David saying that he confirms that Jerome isn't the Joker however what Gotham have done uh, with the birth of the Joker is one of the most brilliant things they've ever done before but as you can imagine uh, Twitter went to outrage loads and loads of people voicing their opinions myself included and just obviously the Gotham fan base wasn't happy about this at all and and as I just played from the clip it is all very true in terms of you know what da David Mazou actually said is crystal clear that Jerome is not the Joker in his personal opinion um, and that he is definitely the inspiration for the Joker. So at face value or for, to all the fans, the, the very worrisome storyline for a lot of us um, about the inspiration of the Joker is, could actually and probably is being fulfilled, but it gets even worse because Cameron Monaghan had something to say about this and since has deleted this tweet. So here you can see the tweet that Cameron is quoting, which is the tweet I just mentioned about Gotham Hub, uh, taking that part of the interview they said in advance of the interview saying that David has confirmed that Jerome Valeska is isn't a joker and Cameron replies by saying I can confirm what we've cooked up and discussed is something not to be missed it's a twist on familiar themes both new and old echoes of the mythos something entirely new but we believe true to the spirit of the show as well as the comics proud I got to be a part of it now obviously lots of people were replying to this saying what what you know Cameron just confirmed there even juice from the box said his opinion which is very similar to mine about how if this is literally the case then it isn't really true to the comics you know it kind of just ruins the character a bit and Cameron Monaghan even replied to juice by saying you'll have to wait my friend and Cameron has been also replying to other tweets like this where fans have said then why drop the joker card right before Jerome's scene every time he's in the preview and he says you'll see there are answers I promise even though just in brackets Jerome didn't drop that joker card from the trailer you see him and then you see a card being dropped I've already explained this but we didn't see him drop it and and another fan saying but but you have to be the joker they hint it in all of your scenes i'm so confused and he just replies just remember the joker is wild now after all of these tweets and the clip of david mazous that i played earlier from the actual interview itself 
uh, you know, actually saying that he isn't the Joker and then camera confirming it. You're probably thinking, how the hell isn't Jerome Valeska the Joker? Well, one thing I do want to say is they this isn't brand new news. They've been saying this for a long, 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 long time. And I've even made a video on this before, uh, venting my frustrations out on what the executive producer, Brian Winderbrand, one of the executive producers, had to say about how Jerome is just Jerome. Uh, it's this video right here, around here. Um, but all I got from that is a lot of angry Jerome fans uh, you know, going crazy on that video saying, you're an idiot, how, he, how, how can you think he's not the Joker? When I was just literally saying what the producer said, and if it was the case um, that Jerome is just Jerome and not the Joker, then, you know, I was basically just doing what everyone's doing now, venting my frustrations, if that is the case. Now, in a not-so-I-hate-to-say-I-told-you-so moment, but here we are with, you know, this interview, and then Cameron quoting the interview, saying, I can confirm, and now fans are getting angry. It's just all a bit, you know, just crazy and out there that Jerome isn't a joker and that he's just the inspiration. And, you know, it's been said for a long, long time. It's just now that the actors are saying it. So people are, it's actually finally sinking in about this information being a bit like, oh my God. And the thing is, I understand. I feel this way as well, if this is the case. But as I said, I'll get onto that in a little bit. Um, that, you know, Cameron is the per perfect casting for the Joker. Whether that's his mannerisms, his look, everything. Why would you cast somebody who's perfect for the Joker if, you know, the character of Jerome Valeska isn't going to be you know, isn't going to end up being that character one day within Gotham who faces up against Batman all the time. Now, here's the thing. However, even though David Mazous has said this, and Cameron and multiple articles from executive producers over the past season saying how he isn't the Joker or he's, you know, their stand-in for the guy who is probably out there, or just their homage to him, I think that no, Jerome Valeska probably isn't the Joker and they're not lying there. They're probably telling the truth and the character that is Jerome or the name Jerome Valeska isn't the Joker. But this doesn't mean that they haven't thought of a very clever story or writing that still keeps Cameron Monaghan playing the Joker within Gotham. So I think honestly that you know, I, I could be wrong, and if it is the case that Cameron, you know, sorry, Jerome Valesco isn't a Joker, and Cameron Monaghan, the actor, isn't playing the Joker within Gotham, then yes, that is a complete balls F up, you know, like, it is very bad, but I think that what they're doing here and what they're saying you know, isn't, you know, isn't a lie. They are saying all of this, so probably when it drops, it's going to be an amazing surprise, and it'll be clever writing, and I'll get to a couple of theories in a second, but no, I do not think that they are lying when David Mizzou said Jerome Valesco isn't a Joker, definitely not a Joker, he's the inspiration, and Cameron saying, I can confirm this, you know, months and months ago, or even a year or so ago, John Stevens saying he's just a stand-in for the guy who is probably out there, Brian Winderbrand saying, you know, he's just an homage. Jerome is just Jerome. Now, I don't want to give anyone false hope, but now this is just truly my theories or like my belief and me talking about a couple of theories. And if you've seen this previous video where I said not the Joker when they've talked about this very thing months and months and months ago, and, you know, at face value, a lot of fans were just criticizing me saying, what the hell are you on about, blah, blah, blah. When I made that video, I did have the belief that they were actually saying, you know, Jerome is just Jerome. And I was like, well, this, if this is the case, and, you know, the executive producers aren't lying, then this is bad. However, I have come around to the way of thinking that, no, they're not lying. And I know that I've said this a few times before, but they're telling the truth in a way that in writing, it's kind of similar to how Bruce Wayne isn't Batman. Like, they're saying they wouldn't be lying there, right? In that example, Bruce Wayne isn't Batman in Gotham right now. He won't be Batman in two years. Bruce Wayne is not Batman, just like how Jerome Valeska isn't uh, the Joker right now. So as I said a minute or so ago, I don't want people getting false hope out of this, but I want to offer you this new perspective in terms of how, yes, they're not lying in saying that Jerome isn't the Joker, but it doesn't mean that he won't be. So for example, another example, a fan sent me this on Twitter. Now, I don't necessarily believe this is it or this will be the story, but this is an example of how the writing could go uh, in a million different directions that could still make Cameron Monaghan play the Joker. Now, Jen Chavez, I'm sorry if I butchered your name there, sent me this Reddit post on Twitter, and it's from the user Quinsten, and I'm guessing that this is from the actual Reddit uh, thread where, you know, everyone's ranting about this. And Quinsten said, I always found it fishy since season one that the only person who can truly identify Jerome is his blind father. I feel they may 
made his father blind intentionally for a plot much later down the line. I would not be surprised if we find a dead body from the carnival who turns out to be the true Jerome and the Jerome we know and love is just some unknown psychopath aka the Joker. This would make sense that his father believed it to be Jerome with Jerome being able to change his voice on command, most noticeable from his interrogation scene in season 1, but throughout almost every encounter we get with Jerome he seems to have a different voice. Just a theory that I hope is true, this would explain why the producers happily say Jerome is not the Joker, I'm guessing they also just can't simply say he's the Joker because they don't possibly have the rights to a fully fledged Joker. So what this Reddit user puts forward there is, as I said, I don't believe that is going to be the actual story that comes out but I want to give merit to that theory because this is what I believe they're kind of going down I feel like they aren't lying as I've said I keep repeating myself when they say Jerome isn't a joker but I think there's going to be a piece of writing in Gotham this season that somehow brings uh, Cameron Monaghan still in the role of the Joker. Whether this is this theory or whether, you know, when he died or when he, when he was in Indian Hill or something like that, they made a clone so that person technically isn't Jerome Valeska but when, let's say, this Jerome that is in season 4 right now or with Penguin that we'll be seeing in an episode's time might die but we have a new person who technically isn't Jerome, but still has the characteristics and personality of Jerome. And he could technically be a John Doe because he's a clone. Um, and he can just go throughout there and become the unknown psychopath who is the Joker. And they could also make it as that Cameron Monaghan, or should I say that Jerome, the clone body of Jerome, uh, won't have any scars because he didn't have his face cut off, which is my favorite version of the Cameron Monaghan Jerome slash Joker, which I think would be really cool because they've also already done the death and the family, you know, cut off face with this Joker, but let's say with this Jerome. But as I said, if, for example, it has something to do with Indian Hill, which still somehow keeps keeps Cameron Monaghan playing the Joker, it would be one with, you know, his fully fledged Joker face. And that would be brilliant. I think that would be really cool. I'm not saying this theory is concrete at all, but I just wanted to get across to you guys that there's a billion different stories or, you know, uh, you know, things that the writers could come up with that still keeps Cameron Monaghan uh, playing, Jer uh, sorry, the Joker. But Jerome Valeska, whether he was never Jerome or if he dies and there was a clone and there's probably a billion other theories out there that keeps the Joker being Cameron Monaghan as the actor. Because let's face it, they know it is pretty stupid uh, if they choose this route. They would have cast somebody who's amazing at playing the Joker in, in a way that how they've brought him, him in early. Uh, they could come up with some writing to fix this, like I've just said. And if they actually do make it in the way that everyone's worrying about in terms of how he's just the inspiration for the Joker of some other guy copying him, they would have ruined that character. It wouldn't be true to the comics. blah -de blah 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 It would be the worst thing that Gotham could have ever have done rather than David, which he's saying is, you know, the birth of the Joker, which is insinuating as well that we will be getting the Joker probably by the end of this season, or at least a tease of that actual man. It's one of the most brilliant things Gotham has ever done in its history of, you know, being a TV show. Um, and the way that um, that uh, the, the Joker comes into the show is, in my opinion, one of the most brilliant things that Gotham's ever done. So... If David is that confident, I'm pretty sure, uh, as I said, like, don't hold me to this because they could F it up, uh, but I'm pretty sure that they aren't lying. They're just saying the facts that Jerome Valeska isn't the Joker, where, in fact, that doesn't mean that Cameron Monaghan still isn't playing the Joker throughout the means of a really intelligent story that they're laying out. And whether you're just looking at other tweets what Cameron Monaghan has said like this, really surreal day on the Gotham set, definitely some of the most strange and fun acting challenges I've ever had to contend with. So excited to be getting to do something like this. And he's done another tweet similar to this, which kind of does you know, I feel like fuel it up even more that he could be playing the Joker in the past. I have a truly difficult challenge, perhaps the most of my acting career so far. Coming up soon. A real rabbit out of a hat situation. Excited and deeply nervous too. So much possibility, room for reinvention, can't wait to share. And he was basically filming Gotham um, after December or maybe even during that time as well. So Room for reinvention. I'm pretty sure he's deeply nervous about the fact that Gotham have given him the reins or like the conclusion to Jerome Valeska's story this season and the birth of the Joker. And just judging by what Darby Mizzou said as well, 
birth of the Joker means we're probably getting that introduction for the actual Joker in Gotham the end of this season. I'm pretty confident about that. Room for reinvention, I'm pretty sure Cameron's playing him, but Jerome, that character wasn't truly the Joker, but Cameron's still playing the true true dude so guys i've already been going on forever i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any thoughts on this which i'm sure you do let me know down in the comments below do you take this at face value and do you think that jerome valeska is not the joker and does that mean that cameron monahan is not also playing the joker or are you more on my side of things where you think that yes jerome valeska isn't the joker but that doesn't mean that cameron monahan isn't playing that through some cool writing, whether that's a clone or whether he was never truly Jerome Valeska, so he is a John Doe, so they can say that Jerome Valeska isn't a joke, just things like that. Let me know if you have any thoughts among those lines. If you did end up enjoying this video, guys, I really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel and you enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe for more content just like this. Also, guys, I do have Patreon, so go over there to check out some of the tiers if you're interested. And you can follow me on social media by clicking on the links coming up on the screen around here but apart from that guys i as i said i've been going on long enough i'll let you sit with this information at the end of the day we're just gonna have to wait time will tell uh we're just gonna have to wait and see uh with these episodes that are airing up until the finale and it's going to be an explosive finale they've already said that uh and we'll have our answers about the whole joker situation in gotham but until then guys i hope you have a lovely rest of your day thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye